Colleges are welcoming back students this week. Tonight, 7 News reporter Sean Brenda walks the campus of SUNY Canton, talking with new and returning students, and tries to find out what enrollment is like. Carts carrying storage bins with clothes, microwaves, and mini fridges pushed by students into both the Rushton and Mohawk residential halls. It's moving in day for returning students at SUNY Canton. This year's freshman class, 500 students, moved in Tuesday. I'm, an, I'm nervous from being away from what I'm used to, but I'm excited to start new and fresh. This year, SUNY Canton is allowing for students to live in single dormitory rooms, avoiding having a roommate. I live in a single dorm because I guess they're doing a lot more single dorms in like the pet wing, which is really nice because like having your own pet and being able to have a room to yourself and your pet is like really, really nice. Total student population at SUNY Canton will reach 2,850 for 2023. 100 students shy of last year's total. Yeah, it's it's pretty uh, even, I would say, from year to year. Uh, we had a little dip during the pandemic, but we're really back to normal now, which is nice. To help students transition to campus life, SUNY Cannon offered up free produce at the Student Center, and a campus-wide barbecue event later was set for Wednesday afternoon. Classes start Thursday morning. Sean Brenda, 7 News.